Here, I'm going to show you how to count a visible rows in a filtered list. And I'm going to show you three different ways to do that. The first one is the one that's not really going to work very well and probably why you are here. Equals count. We count the number of cells and we get five and everything seems okay. But then we go to filter the list, remove some options, and we still get five, which is why we've got two great functions, the subtotal function and the aggregate function. The aggregate is the newer version of the subtotal function, basically. So let's take a look at these guys. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this first. And the subtotal is going to be equals subtotal and you choose which calculation you'd like to perform. The first series of options 1 to 11 is going to work on filtered values only, and then 101 to 111 will work also on manually hidden rows. So when you right click a row and hide it. We are going to go with the count function. Count and count A are often used. Count works for numbers. Count A works for any cell that's not empty. And if you ever forget that, just, I will show you in one moment how to remember it. The second argument is the range that we would like to select. And that's all there is to it. As easy as that. Now, if you ever forget count or count A, just go equals and start typing count, and it will tell you what it does there. Count A, it's going to tell you what it does there. So don't worry about that. Now, the aggregate function equals aggregate. Here we choose the calculation that we'd like to perform. And notice this time it goes all the way up to 19. So we can do more things with this one. And there is no 101 to 111, but don't worry about that because the second argument right here, the options argument, is a whole list of really great, really powerful things. So we don't need that second set of calculations. We can choose what we want to ignore here or what we want to do. Ignore hidden rows, error values, nested subtotal, and aggregate functions is a great one to choose. So I'm going to choose that one. And for the final argument, let's choose some cells. And that is it. Now, when we go to filter this guy, remove some options, everything updates accordingly. Now here I only showed you how to count the visible rows, but you notice there were many other things that we could do with these functions. They are amazing functions to use when you filter your data, and they can really add a lot to your big worksheets when you want to have a nice little summary of data at the top of all of your filtered data. That's all for this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all my new tutorials.